just outside the circle. In they come. The final delivery of what's been a great match. He's missed it, and it's victory. He's run out. So New Zealand get two points. What a win! What a surprise! What a sensation! Hi there. I'm Marty from Pixel Tees. And 30 years ago this month, Chris Pringle was the first person in ODI cricket to successfully defend two runs in the final over when he bowled a maiden over to Australia's Bruce Reid in the 1990-91 World Series game in Hobart. For me personally, it was my first real great memory of cricket, as well as the first time I remember us being the Aussies. And the moment really spurred on my love for the game and made me a fan for life. It was also the inspiration for the Maiden Over t-shirt, uh, which is part of my uh, Pixel Tees collection, which uh, you can see. Um, so, with the 30th anniversary of that game coming up on the 18th of this month, uh, Chris has kindly agreed to join me and take us for a walk down memory lane, memory lane behind the scenes of that over that's earned him a place in Kiwi folklore, or at least mine. So uh, thanks for joining me, Chris, and thanks for wearing your, uh, your Pixel T. I uh, hope you can see the resemblance okay. Yeah, pleasure, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to get the little zinc spots in there, but they look a little bit of blobs. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, for, for me, that moment when I was a little eight-year-old uh, rush, rushing back from a haircut with my dad to, uh, to get those final overs in on TV was uh, probably the first time I realised anything can happen in sport, which is, is what makes it so great. Um, back in 1990, though, your score of 194 in the first innings it wasn't, wasn't a bad score. I was just wondering, did you guys feel you had enough to be competitive when you went out there to bowl? Yeah, I suppose we did, Marty. I think in a lot of ways, um, Australia had already qualified for the finals, so they, mm. they tinkered around with their batting order. Um, yeah. And even watching the game the other night when it was, it was a dead rubber, they, you know, they, they lost to India. So perhaps yeah. the intensity, they know their home and dry is, is not mm. there as much as perhaps, you know, trying to, trying to gain that, that uh, elimination spot. Yeah, yeah. And at, at what point in that run chase did you know that you were going to be bowling that last over if it went the distance? And, and how did you kind of prepare for that as, as the game got closer and closer as it went on? Well, I always loved bowling at the death. I mean, it yeah. was something that you know, I bowled five, four or five or six overs with the new ball and then generally yeah. bowled three or four at the end. And mm. so as far as that was concerned, that's, you know, that's what I really enjoyed, taking the new ball and bowling at the death. So I knew that if yeah. we were somewhere in the, in the ballpark of the game that, yeah. I, that I was going to um, at the end. Yeah, yeah. And we were watching the scoreboard, kind of hoping that you'd have a few more runs to play with, uh, hoping there'd be a few more as you got closer, or did you not really focus on that? Oh, I always do. I mean, maths is probably one of my better um, subjects at school. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm quite a calculating mind when it comes to numbers. Yeah, yeah. So what, what was your initial reaction when Danny Morrison got hit for that four off the last ball or the 49th over? Did, did it worry you, or did you, did, how, did you, how did you feel? Two really strong emotions hit me. I thought, oh, yeah. no. Yeah. I thought, oh, no. Yeah. Um, but I both, once I thought about it, I thought, well, at least Bruce Reed's on strike. So in yeah. a way, it was a blip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and did you, know, <laughs> did you know he was that bad? Well, you know, I, I tell everybody he was, he was ranked in the top 10 batsmen in the world at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, did you ever plan to him at the start of the over? Did, was, it, was there anything in, in particular you wanted to do? Well, I just knew that I had to mix my, mix my pace up. And yeah. I, don't, I, I tried to bowl at the stumps every single ball. Uh, yeah. With wind and drift and, you know, bowling yeah. fast off. Um, yeah, yeah, just kept back on top of the stumps. But, yeah, I, yeah. I just wanted to mix my pace and not, get him, not let him get used to anything. Yeah, yeah. So, so when that first ball did drift down leg and then and wasn't called wide, was it, what was the emotion that came through your head when that happened? Oh, a fair bit of luck. Um, <laughs> like it could have gone. In those days, they weren't quite as strict with balls going down the leg side. And because I was bowling yeah. around the wicket, the angle, the angle made it look like it was even further, but he, he could have yeah. played a normal shot to it. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And then the second third balls, he actually got back to ball. So did you have to change anything in your approach then? Or did you think he was getting his eye in? Or is there anything you did differently after that? Because he missed the last three quite comprehensively. Yeah, balls four and five were slower balls. And they yeah. were, that confused him. But then I thought, you know, can I bowl one more slower ball? Or, and then at the last ball, I just tried to bowl as fast as I could at the stumps. Yeah. And it was full, full yeah. and wide. And missed it. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure I read in your book that you just wanted the ball back in your hand as quickly as possible. 
Um, did you feel yourself growing confidence as the year went on? And was it a point where you thought, you know, hell, we, we could actually do this. We could pull this off. There's a good chance. Well, I suppose, you know, in a, in a weird sort of way, I sort of lived for those moments. Yeah. Um, you know, I, lo I loved one day cricket and it was mm. clearly my, I probably didn't mm. have enough pay test cricket. So yeah. uh, I, I, I look forward to, to all those opportunities. Okay. That one was probably one of the more spectacular, but I, I really enjoyed yeah. bowling when batsmen were trying to get after me. Yeah. 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 And what was the crowd like? Were they getting after you in that last over? Because they sound a bit quiet on the video. I've rewatched the video a few times and it's not to the very last ball where they seem to get noisy, but I guess maybe it's hard to tell. Yeah, no, you're right. It was, there was a little bit of, I suppose, sort of the, the Aussie brashness that they thought they'd get over the line. Um, yeah. So, I think, you know, Greg Matthews was probably the most animated person in the, <laughs> in the whole, whole ground during that last yeah. over and tried to coach Bruce. Through. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear him giving him tips? What, what, what was he telling? What was he telling Bruce Reed to do? Oh, for God's sake, just get something on it, Bruce. Come on, just anything to do. <laughs> What was Bruce saying? I'm trying, I'm trying, or something. Uh, I think he was very internalised. And <laughs> <just> say boo. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the bizarre thing about the whole over was that hmm. I expected to knock his poles over, yeah. or him hit one straight, straight up in the air, or yeah. him nick one past the keeper, or inside edge down to the boundary. So my yeah. expectation was that it was not going to go more than, you know, one, two, maybe three balls. Yeah, um, yeah. It just just became sort of theatre, and um, yeah. you know, all the expectation was that he would he would whack one or he'd miss one and get bowled, but they kept yeah. bouncing over the dumps. And... <laughs> yeah, yeah. And there was a wide that wasn't, and the drama just kept on going. Yeah, hands, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was, yeah. And so that last ball, how were you feeling? Because you, you feel like you've done all the hard work. You've done five balls, like you said. You know, you thought it'd be over after two or three, and you're so close and it would, you just did, is there anything you just wanted as fast as possible then? Yeah, and I was in the zone, like I was, yeah. I was probably too aware of what was going outside of um, mm. me, 22 yards. Um, yeah. But I, I, I had a good feeling, like I had mm. a positive feeling that I thought it was going to go our way, especially yeah. after the ball four. Yeah. I thought he's going to have to play an amazing shot to, yeah. you know, or I'm going to have to buy a, bowl a really bad ball for him to, yeah. to get the, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess, I can't really see on the TV, but it was the field quite close by then or had it spread out? Like, was it, because I guess it's quite intimidating for him to try and hit over if everyone's quite close. Yeah, I, I think what they were, when it came to balls five and six, they were more, I think, focused on on just running if they could yeah. get that on ball. Yes. Yeah. The, the last mm -hmm. ball when they ran without hitting it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's cool. And, and then what was the feeling like in the change room after after you guys won and, and, and giving yourself a chance to make the final? Oh, there was a few v Victorian bitters <laughs> drunk. <laughs> well, it was, a, it was an all or nothing scenario. Like, we, yeah. we, 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 we had to win to, to come back for the finals. And yeah. that in itself was a huge bonus to the team because we yeah. going into that game at Hobart mm -hmm. and then only getting 194, we, we yeah. sort of... I suppose thought well we've 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 done our chips here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I remember that was my first real summer of really watching cricket on TV and, and knowing that you guys need to win to make the final. And I was, you know, as an eight-year-old kid, you just you really wanted you really wanted you guys to win so we could watch more cricket and and see you guys in the final. So it was it was even more exciting when you guys actually did it. It was incredible. We didn't yeah. have social media and all that sort of stuff back in that day. And no. I remember. We we got back to New Zealand, you know, it was, it was probably the hottest topic for 12 months. And yeah. Was, um, yeah. You know, every, everyone asked me about that maiden over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do people still ask you about it or is, is it, is it? No, they, every now and then it'll pop up. Someone will post an Australian cricket or yeah. um, the IC or someone will yeah. post it. And yeah. A band to, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, friends on Facebook will start making comments yeah, about yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> It's only been a moment that stuck with me for, for most of my life. And as I said, it's the reason I'm probably a, a big cricket fan. And uh, once, you're, once you're a cricket fan, it's hard not to be after that. So, um, uh, great moment once it's started, it's all over. You just, it, yeah. it, it's a massive pastime and it's a really good yeah. interruption. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you guys ever feel that, you, that if the finals have been kind of straight after that game, instead of having to wait till January of the next year, you might have, might have been a bit closer? <laughs> 
Yeah, I think so. Mm. I think you know, only a three hour flight, but just the whole packing yeah. up and yeah. and then coming playing, you know, Auckland and New Zealand stuff at home yeah. and having to, yeah. you know, readdress that. I think that was challenging. Yeah. Um, they they were a better side than us all round, so we had yeah. to we had to play at one hundred and twenty percent to get yeah. close yeah. to. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And have you ever seen um, Bruce Reid or spoken to him since then? Do you, do you ever have him on about it, or have you not seen him since? No, I haven't, and and, and I think I, I, it's too cruel to you know what I mean. It's um, <laughs> just too cruel to dig at that. You know, he, he yeah. would have um, no doubt got a bit of ribbing from his teammates and yeah, yeah, people. Yeah. <laughs> but it was, just so nice to beat them in their own backyard. I know. know. Yeah, 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 it was. And, and as, as I said, for me, that was the first time I remember us ever beating the Aussie. So it didn't happen very often. So um, it was yeah, really and I love playing. I, I spent 14 years growing up in um, yeah. Australia, kids, so I sort of understood their mentality a bit more than than, yeah. than a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of my teammates didn't because they they yeah. just heard stories about playing against them, but never really sort of I suppose yeah. spent any. Yeah. 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 Cool. Oh, well, thank you so much for your time, Chris. I really appreciate that. For me, that was um, it was really cool hearing about the behind the scenes of that last over and you know, what was going through your mind and, and what was happening at the ground. So um, I, I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Pleasure, Marty. All good. Cheers. Thanks. Merry Christmas, mate.